All right, we're gonna show you out of the Bible. Give me that. Give me uh, what you have first. Give me that. We're gonna show you why we never identified ourselves as from the tribe of Judah, Benjamin, Levi, Ephraim. These are names that God has given us. These names are the names that was given to us in the midst of our captivity, our slavery. We got called black and Negroes and niggas during the time of slavery, correct? So these are the names that they have given us, but God calls us from the tribe of Judah. All right, we're going to show you why that happened to us. Isaiah chapter 65 and verse 15. Ye shall leave your name for a curse. We shall leave our name for a curse. We, our name is Judah, but now we call ourselves American blacks. Black is just a color. That, your jacket is black. And then we call ourselves American. That's our citizenship over here in this land. That's not our nationality. We can't go to no land called American black or black. You feel what I'm saying, Bree? And ye shall leave your name for a curse unto my chosen. Unto my chosen. Who are God's chosen people? Give me that. Brother right here, who are God's chosen people? Who is that today on the earth? Who would we say that for to be? The Bible has the answer. If you don't know it, it's fine, because it, it was a point in time I didn't have those answers. We got to come back under this knowledge of God, and he going to explain it to us, all right? Read what you got. Deuteronomy chapter 7 and verse 6. The book of Deuteronomy is Moses. He's speaking to the Israelites. You'll read that in Deuteronomy 1 and 1. Now let's see what Moses said to the Israelites, all right? Read. Deuteronomy chapter 7 and verse 6. Thou art an holy people. There go that word holy again. Holy just means separate. We're set apart from all the nations of the earth. Read. Unto the Lord thy God. He said we separated unto the Lord our God. Our God. All right, read. The Lord thy God have chosen thee. He said the Lord thy God have what? Chosen thee. He said I have chosen you. I have chosen you, Maurice. I have chosen you, sir. He said he's chosen the Israelites in whom he's talking to in this time. So God's chosen people are who? It's us, the Israelites, the blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. That's who God's chosen people are. Now let's see how he feels about them, read. To be a special people unto himself. And he said a special people unto himself. We separated, we set apart from all the nations of the earth, and we're special unto God himself. That's why we're able to still prevail and prosper in today's time with all the things that we went through. This is our history. You see all of these signs? The uh, chattel slavery that we went through as a people, this is where we came from, Africa. We came from Africa to the north, to the South Americas. All through that, we still prosper today. But how is that? Because God called us a special people. Read what you got. Isaiah chapter 44 and verse 1. Get now here, O Jacob, my servant. Jacob is the forefather of the 12 tribes of the children of Israel. These are his sons right here. He's speaking to Jacob, read. And Israel. Whom I have chosen. He said, in Israel, whom I have chosen. This is out of the Bible. Have you been to church? You been to church? So you been to church, correct? If we been to church all of our lives, we grew up going to church, how we don't know that simple question? Who are God's chosen people? This Bible is meant for a specific group of people. Give me that in Psalms. This Bible is not to be to talk to everybody. This Bible is to, to God's chosen people. We're going to show you that. And his chosen people are who again? It's us. Who is us? Who are we? We God's people. What does he call us? Right here. What's that? Israel. God calls us as the nation of Israel. So is everybody God's people? You don't think so? All right, so watch this. Give me that in 1 Peter chapter 2. Start at verse 8 and 9. Off to the side for me. So watch this, all right? We want to deal with that chosen one real quick, right? Because God is only dealing with a certain amount of people, right? Those people that are identified to go through the curses of Deuteronomy 28, all right? So I'm going to explain that to you, read. Yeah. Okay. First Peter chapter 2 and verse 8. And a stone of stumbling. Nine. Nine. Okay. But ye are a chosen generation. We are a chosen generation. God chose the Israelites. Go back to Isaiah 44 and 1. Watch what he says says we are a chosen generation. Well, who did he choose? Every four years, we choose a president, right? You vote and elect. Well, God did that when he created the earth. Out of the 18 nations on the earth, 
God chose one nation. That's right. Just like every day, you chose to wear those shoes. Out of all the shoes you could have worn, you chose to wear those. God did the same thing. He says, but we are a chosen generation. Who is chosen? Read. Isaiah chapter 44 and verse 1. Yet now, O Jacob, my servant, and Israel, whom I have chosen. See, God chose us. Man didn't do this. God chose the Israelites to be his people. Right. Go back to 1 Peter. Come on. 1 Peter chapter 2 and verse 9. But ye are a chosen generation. The ye is the Israelites. We are a chosen generation. Read. A royal priesthood. We are royal priests. What does that mean? We are supposed to carry ourselves and conduct ourselves in a manner according to godliness. That's are we doing that right now in our communities? No, we're not, right? But he said, you are a chosen generation. Do it look like and feel like we chosen? Look at, look where we standing. Look at our communities. Right. Our businesses look half closed. We live in paycheck to paycheck. We might not feel chosen, right? You don't. But he said, you are a chosen generation, a royal priesthood. You're royalty, brother. Why you think we got on purple? What you think purple mean? Royalty, bro. That's right. We royal. Come on. And holy nation. We holy. We're separate from any of these other nations. We're holy, right? Come on. A peculiar people. We're peculiar. You're special. That's why we as a people can run faster than everybody else, jump higher than them. We can do a trials and tribulations. We, we ain't had a pot to piss in. Look at it. We still on this earth kicking it. They don't put our, our liquor stores and weed spots on every corner of our community, yet we still here. We're a peculiar people. We're special. Right. Would you agree? Yeah. All right, come on. That ye should show forth the praises of him who have called you out of darkness. Guess what? Are you showing forth the praises of God in your actions? Read that again. What's this? That ye should show forth the praises of him who have called you out of darkness. God has called you out of the midst of darkness when he sent his son, Jesus Christ, to die on the cross for us. The so-called blacks and spenders and Native Americans. Are you showing praise for that? Right Romans 12 and 1. Oh, right? So guess what? If you're not obeying the Father, how can the Father bless his children? So guess what? What are we? Are we living in a blessing or a curse right now? A curse. Okay, so how do we get out of that curse? See, I presented a problem. We got to go to the Bible to get the solution. That's you understand what I'm saying? So watch this. The book of Romans chapter 12 and verse 1. I beseech you therefore, brethren. Guess what, bro? I could be anywhere else doing anything else. Right. But I'm not here because I love my people. That's because right. the spirit of God is on me. So I'm pleading with my brothers right now. I beseech you, brother. You understand what Paul is saying? Read. By the mercies of God. By the mercy of God, he sent his son to die on the cross for you. He was innocent, but he paid for your sins. That's God's mercy for you because he loved you, right? Come on. That ye present your bodies. Hold on, you present what? Your bodies. You live in a such a way. Read. A living sacrifice. In your life right now, you be a living example of what the Bible say to do. Shalom Israel, this is Bishop Nathaniel. I want you to know that you can view all our Sabbath classes live on IUIC TV. That's right, I said on IUIC TV. Download the app today. Shalom. What is the nation? Nation is family. Nation is community. Nation is men leading by example. Nation is women's support. Nation is children with role models. Nation is unity. Nation is 